Let's compare Athens versus Sparta, two Greek city-states. We start with location. Athens was near the sea and their military was a navy, while Sparta was inland and their military was an army. Each city-state had a different local god. For Athens, it was Athena, the goddess of wisdom and war, and for Sparta, it was Ares, the god of war. For jobs, in Athens, there were a lot of artisans, poets, and philosophers, while in Sparta, people were mainly warriors, although there were also some artisans. The economy of Athens centered around trade since they were so close to the sea. They had a marketplace called an agora, and they traded with convenient coins. However, Sparta relied on farming and conquering others. Their money was iron bars, which was pretty inconvenient. For government, Athens had a democracy and citizens voted for laws. In Sparta, there was an oligarchy, which was led by a few people known as the Council of Elders. In Athens, women had few rights. They had no say in government, and they mostly managed the home and raised the children. In Sparta, though, women had many rights. They could even own lands, have jobs, and they were expected to be strong to defend their land. Slaves in Athens were treated better than they were in Sparta, and some even had some job skill training. In Sparta, slaves had some rights, but for the most part, they were treated very poorly and harshly since they were prisoners of war. The purpose of education in Athens was to create good citizens, and only boys were educated. Military training started at age 18. While in Sparta, it started at age seven, and education was for both boys and girls with the intention of making them strong, brave warriors. In summary, Athens was a more peaceful city-state with lots of trade and democracy. On the other hand, Sparta was all about conquering its enemies and they had an oligarchy and a strong army.